Bear and ask for the Puppet and Golden Freddy, liberate Foxy, Freddy and Mangle from the Phantoms. This is one of the few bears I actually really want to do. I'm out, he has a weapon. This weapon reverses the effect which Springtrap's weapon caused. Today, I'll turn the phantoms back to normal. Our natural powers are useless against the phantomization effect, so this gun is specifically made to reverse that. Farewell phantoms. That's one now, two to go. Now it's your turn, now I can free you from Springtrap's powers. What are you doing? Can't you at least try to get my baby back to normal? I've told you before, it's way too risky. Do you want your baby to die? No, but... Wait, until it's born, it could take weeks. The baby needs to be at least two days old. Is that so hard to understand? Thank you very much, Chica. Phantom Mangle is gone now. Phantom Mangle is probably still somewhere inside the building. So what? Phantom Mangle is still able to free Springtrap. Do you want that to happen? Let me go. Chica needs me. I suspect she wants to be alone for a bit. But she... She wants to be alone for a bit. You can come over again later. Okay? Okay. Did you have to be so mean to her? Barney, I know what I'm doing. She needs to understand the gravity of what she just did. Thanks to her, Phantom Mangle is gone. I really have to be serious, people misjudge me for being happy due to my mask. And so, you hurt Chica's feelings back then. Why do you persist to defend Chica? Isn't that logical? She's my wife. We married. And it's my job to protect her and my baby. You're so blinded. Stop arguing, nothing productive comes from that. That's true. I'll try to find Phantom Mangle around here. I wanna be with Chica. Soon enough, Bonnie. Everything is gonna alright. It's just all my fault. I should've never given you to Toy Chica when I went with your father to kitchen. He told me he had a surprise for me there. I thought I just could give you to Toy Chica, so I wouldn't need to worry about you for a short while. Your father decorated the entire kitchen with beautiful decoration. And we were lost in each other. Until we hear noise outside. I went to look and I saw that terrifying green bunny next to Goldie. I saw he had you. Without thinking I grabbed his throat and smashed him on the floor. I was so angry. Then Goldie told us that you were conjured by that bunny. We couldn't comprehend it. Toy Chica explained to us that she tried to protect you from the attacker, Phantom Foxy just ripped her arm off. 
If I wouldn't have given you to Toy Chica, and just took you with us to the kitchen, nothing terrible would have happened to you. It's all my fault, I just let it happen. But we just needed to get used to you. It's all so new to us. But I'll never let you go or give you to someone else, except your father. I'm gonna make sure that you'll live a happy and good life when you got born and when you're back to normal. Because you're our only child. I hope you'll forgive me, my dear baby. I'm so sorry. Where are you? Get away from us. I'm in the sea room, remember? What do you want from me? Nothing, I just want you to know that I would never let someone go through this terrible event. It's just that the man inside did all this. I tried everything I possibly could to stop him from doing that to your friends and your child. I'm so sorry. You can't do anything about it. We're sorry that we had to lock you in that room. Hi. You can go now. Chica? Can I sit next to you? I heard everything you said. It's not your fault. It is, if I haven't d But honey, you know you can't predict that will happen. I'll love you no matter what. Really? Yeah, I love you sweetie. I love you too, honey. Every little thing's is gonna be alright. Some moments are somewhat sad to see, aren't they?